Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's on the mic back in the gym. So I'm a little bit different. We haven't been showing you guys a lot of the upper body days. One, because Connor is graduating. Two, because I'm getting ready for a deadlift only competition. So my upper body days are not as serious and not as planned out. Um, I want to talk a little bit general programming. When you're talking about, you know, we talk about powerlifting, power building, bodybuilding, kind of thing. The main differences in between. Main differences between bodybuilding, powerlifting, and maybe power building is maybe just exercise variation. But even when you're powerlifting, obviously the main focus, 90, you know, depending on the type of programming you have, but 70 to 100% of your training will be squat bench dead or variation. I still think there's room for kind of the big six. You're used to the big three, we got the big six. And what I'm talking about is we have a vertical pull, which could be chin up, lat pull down, pull up, etc. A horizontal pull, which is row, dumbbell, barbell, different grips. Horizontal push, bench press, dumbbell press, something of that nature. Vertical push, shoulder press. Hip hinge, which is obviously the deadlift if you're a power lifter, but could be a stiff leg or good morning if you're a bodybuilding or power building. And then some type of squat, which is the barbell back squat if you're a power lifter, but it could be a front squat, could be a safety squat bar. It could even be a lunge uh, or a Bulgarian split squat if you're more into power building or power lifting, or excuse me, bodybuilding or power building. So now in my upper body, uh, because I get to kind of relax part of my head and not worry about my bench press, we're trying to get swole, still trying to look good because that's always the goal. I get to play around a little bit. So I'm taking a little bit of a break from the barbell. Um, no real reason other than one, I want to stay healthy. I don't want to handle as heavy a weight. I don't want to focus on um, my PR bench of all time or recent. One, when I'm dieting and two, when I focus on the deadlift. So um, basically doing two to three upper body days to complement the two main deadlift days with the belt squat. Um, and the main movement I found in my past, you know, 10, 10 years of training, kind of strength and, and trying to look good, even though don't really look good, so don't, you know, still a work in progress, but is the incline bench press. Something that feels really good on my shoulders, feels really good on my chest, um, and I have a lot of fun. It just feels like a fluid movement. So dumbbell incline is gonna be one of my main focuses. Dumbbell shoulder press has always felt really good, and I feel um, healthy and a good fluid movement from it. And then whatever arms feels good. Lucky for me, you know, I get a lot of questions about tendonitis in the elbow doing uh, tricep movements. Lucky for me, if I do dumbbells or single arm tricep stuff, I can go hard and heavy, hot and heavy. Get a lot of questions about tendonitis in the triceps doing any kind of tricep movement, really hurting the elbows. Lucky for me, if I'm doing dumbbell movement, cable movement, one arm, I can go a hot and heavy, a lot of reps, a lot of sets, and never really have pain. So as long as I kind of stick to that, I'm pretty good. I'll maybe do one uh, both arm movement um, for uh, deadlift. I'll maybe do one um, movement that's with a barbell or a bar for my triceps and biceps, and then the rest are unilateral. I normally use dumbbells or a machine or even a cable. One arm cable is one of the most comfortable on my muscles and my joints. So I'm um, trying to get maybe two to three exercises of each bicep and tricep afterwards because these arms aren't growing themselves. They're actually, you know, bodybuilding speaking wise, probably one of my weaker points. Um, plus I just want bigger arms. Who doesn't? Um, back, kind of same thing. Rows, kind of hurt my back sometimes, so I don't tend to do too many bent over rows. I tend to like to do a chest supported row. So sometimes I'll go to a commercial gym and they have the hammer strength chest supported. Just alleviates a little bit of pain off my low back so I can focus that energy, let it recover for the deadlift uh, or squat in certain cases. So I'll do my rows there. A uh, bunch of different grips of chin up, something that's helped the basics build my back and my deadlift over time. Uh, and I'm gonna continue with that probably with my deadlift competition. Uh, and then maybe afterwards, we'll see where we go. I wanna get more into some sprinting again, like I used to do in my basketball days, uh, some jumping, some different things like that after the deadlift competition. But for the next eight, eight weeks, folk main, you know, 90% of my focus is on the deadlift, uh, and then just kind of maintaining the rest of it, feeling good, having fun. And then after that, we're gonna switch gears, probably lose a little bit more weight. I wanna get sub 200 pounds for that. Um, sitting around 203, 205 right now, competing at 198, so we'll slowly get down to that. If not, water cut, we got a 24 hour weigh in. Um, and then, uh, then we'll get healthy, get skinny. So we'll see when the time comes. Competition is July 1st, Barber Brigade. We'll be filming the whole way up there. Going on a trip soon, so we got two or three more. 
gym videos coming, then a little bit of vlog action, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to smash the thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss a new video. New video dropping Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Shout out my boy Connor, putting on the hustle. Daily videos coming soon. Mark your calendars. Bitch, I'm about to blow up. Comment below if you know that quote. Ladies and gentlemen, Salamak, I'm out.